Hi hey everyone, the Psyman rises back with more Lost Judgment. Uh, wait, we're getting ready to start chapter 10. Thirteen years in the past, Mitsuru Kusimoto plunged himself into a coma, sealing his fate alongside Kuwana's. Ridden by guilt, Kuwana sets off on a path of vengeance, and the bullies he drags with him are shackled to the shadows. However, Yokosawa's murder serves as a deadly wake-up call to what he's done. Chapter 10, Catch a Tiger, holy moly. That'd be a hard thing to do in real life, wouldn't it? Getting your identification on record, so you won't be a threat to us anymore. Uh, what? And I think you owe us after everything you've done. Expect me to come collect one of these days. <sighs> oh, here comes Siguera. Your carriage awaits, Mamiya-san. Don't tell me we're going back to that dingy arcade. <laughs> we sure are. But try not to hold a grudge. It wasn't us who abandoned you. At least you get to play some arcade games while you're hostage. Silly bitch. Higashi, you already called Sari-san and the gang, right? Yeah, I let them know what's up. They said they'll head over when they're ready. Did Shirasaki sensei say anything? <laughs> well... She was pretty stunned when I told her who Kuwana really is, and what he's up to. Sounding a little smug there, Higashi-san. Taking credit for the detective work you didn't even do? Back me up here, Yagami-san. Whatever, man. Kuwana got away, and that's all that matters. Still, the task in front of us is finishing Sari-san's case. We have to clear up Ahara's crime once and for all. With Mamiya-san's help, of course. <sighs> Finally, I'm ready to get some answers. Well, we still got time till Shirosaki Sensei gets here. Why don't you take a breather, Yagami-san? Huh? That'd be okay? Sure. I'll call you once everyone's here. Yeah. A break sounds good. By the way, Higashi, has anything unusual gone down in Kamracho lately? Anything involving RK? Yeah, about that. My guys were saying things have been a little too quiet since yesterday. Soma and Akutsu are out in Ijincho, too. When they come back, they're in for a rude awakening. And they can pay for what they did to Kaito Aniki. Make them pay? Aren't your Yakuza days behind you now? That's not the Yakuza in me talking. That's just a problem I'm gonna be the solution for. Uh, isn't that exactly what a Yakuza would say? Fine. Think of it as getting revenge for a brother. Uh... I'm doing the right thing, damn it! Yeah, maybe it's just how you're putting it. Besides, what's it matter if I was Yakuza? I've got my own code, and I'm gonna do right by me. Whatever you say. Much as things change, they stay the same. Since I'm out, might as well check on how the sissy's doing. I'll go kill some time out somewhere. So what are we going to do then? Play some arcade games maybe? None of them are available for us to play. Oh, let me just see in here first. Alright, nothing in here. Right, let's go, 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 let's go, go, go. Kill some time in the town. How long for though? Oh, 
Put it in. What are my items like? Let me see my items. They got quite a lot of food, didn't I? Maybe buy some more even. Kill some. T oh, just fight some people and get some SP there. Oi! Oh, this is the fat one. He's got tons of health. Can't be bothered to take him on. I want to take on the small fry, man. Well, where should I go anyway? Okay, it says kill time. Does eating in the thinking, eating in the res uh, restaurant count? Hey, yeah. Hey, Yagami-san, it's Sugiura. Hey. Shirosaki Sensei and the others just got to Charles. They're getting ready to grill Mamiya-san. Got it. Then I'll head back soon. Thanks. Oh, well, let's get what that was quick, wasn't it? As soon as I get back to Charles, you, you, Mami is going to answer every single one of my questions. Indeed. Oh, you want some? Come get some, man. Take this. Really, guys? Well, let's get back, let's get back, man. Let's get back. Out of the way, out of the way. The Agami's coming through. Too, Genda Sensei? What? Am I in the way? <laughs> of course not. I didn't know you still did field work. I figured if they could pull a fast one on Saurikun, I'd at least want to look him in the eye. Why are all these people here? What gives? We've been waiting for you, Yagami san. Mamiya san is about to enlighten us on the truth behind the groping. Good. Oh, and I heard about Sawa Sensei. I'm so sorry. Our condolences. Looks like she got mixed up in all this when RK was chasing after Kawana. But we're still not sure why they chased him. To figure that out, we'll have to retrace Kawana's steps. Exactly. That said, let's start with the harassment charges, Mamiya san. <sighs> Talk, bitch. Fine. Let's get this over with. Pout all you want, but keep the answers straight. Got it? <laughs> the Hara's assault was designed to establish a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. So Kawana had you play the victim, and together you pulled one over on the police and the court. Can you confirm if this is all accurate so far, please? Yeah, yeah. The person who groped you on the train wasn't a Harasan himself, it was his stand-in. And my understanding is that he had conspirators to help him fabricate this event? That's right. What was Kawana doing at the time? Was he in Ijinsho or Tokyo? Didn't you hear your lady friend? A Harasan had a stand-in. And <laughs> that stand-in was our sensei. You mean Kawana posed as a Hara himself? So this Ahara was actually Kawana. Huh. <laughs> Sensei and Ahara-san have a pretty similar build. Not sure they could have pulled it off otherwise, you know? But some spots don't look right, like his mouth. You sure that's really Kawana-san? That part around his mouth is fake. He said he scanned Ahara-san's face and made it on a 3D printer. Oh, huh. You can print things in 3D now? Well, it's a machine that takes a model's data from a computer and prints physical objects using materials like resin. 
So if you were to scan a person's face onto a computer, a 3D printer could accurately recreate it. Hmm. I don't know the details, but that's what Sensei used to become a Harasan. Something like this. See, with a 3D printer, a piece of a face is pretty easy to make. What the hell? I see. His eyes are hidden behind the sunglasses, and the seams on his jaw are obscured by the mask. It's incredible, I must say. With the mouth area so visible, it's too convincing to think he's anybody else. And with the prosecution assuming he's just another sexual predator, they fell for it. This is no time to be impressed. In case you forgot, he had the defense fooled too. Uh -huh. uh, right. Assuming Kawana was Ahara's double, there's still some evidence I'm iffy about. I'm of the same opinion. Okay. Which evidence is questionable? Time to pull back the curtain on, on this case. Any evidence I'm unsure of, I need to press Mamiya on it right now. Wait, what? Let's just uh, select some more, yeah, until we get somewhere. <laughs> Any thoughts after seeing this? Stop it. You're gonna look away? You aided and abetted by playing the victim, didn't you? I mean, yes. Who put this video up on the internet? Sensei did. He said from the start that once ahara san got his guilty verdict, He'd upload it to the internet. So that was all part of the plan. Yeah. Sensei can't forgive the law for how easy it lets out bullies. Ahara son's the same way. His son's death was brushed aside. The court blamed his suicide on unknown factors. And that's what led them to his whole plan. The real victim is some bully who never got what he deserved, and the killer gets off in court by being convicted of battery. How would the public respond after finding out they'd gamed the law like that? So Kawana and Ahara's real plan was to make a mockery out of the justice system. <sighs> Seems to be going well for them. The courts are beside themselves for dragging the police into this. I guess Ahara really was desperate. He was never concerned about his own punishment. He tarnished his own name to humiliate the law. Yeah, cop or not. Ahara is a broken man. Nobody took responsibility for his son's death, and the courts all but ignored his case. No wonder he went along with Kawana. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Sensei and Ahara's son are the perfect pair with nothing to lose. The only ones who do are the ones forced to comply. Us. Speaking of which, are we done here yet? Of course not, we've still got stuff to ask, bitch. Wait, what shall we talk about? Let's talk about all of them, anyway, until we get somewhere. <laughs> what do you make of this? I mean, what's there to doubt? Uh, you tell me? The one running on the platform wasn't a Harrison. It was Sensei pretending to be him, right? Meaning? There is no more meaning. That's all there is to it. Ahara-san used a stand-in to fake his alibi. The stand-in turned out to be none other than Jin Kawana, which Mamiya-san just finished explaining in detail. Yep. Good to know we have all our ducks in a row. What else is there to ask then, anyway? So ask about this. How about this, then? What's this? A map of the station? We made a diagram of Shinjuku Station. The platform's packed with cameras, but take a closer look and you'll notice a small blind spot. We've all been looking into it. So, let's say Ahara murdered Mikoshiba and faked his alibi at the station. If that was the case, then after Ahara had his stand and do the deed, they would have swapped at this blind spot. Yeah. Sound about right. Is I give up what you're looking for? You figured it out. 
You win. What more do you want? Wait, what else is there? Or shall we ask her about this? <laughs> Just to piss her off. This came out pretty clearly. Uh-huh. So the guy in the back is Kuana posing as a horror, right? Yes. And he actually didn't lay a finger on me. His prints couldn't show up. <laughs> Sounds like he had a hell of a time getting this set up. I didn't. But Sensei sure did. Can you take a closer look at this? That's the Ikebukuro station platform. What about it? If Kuwana was pretending to be Ahara, then Kuwana was also the man in the video before he got on the train, correct? Right. Didn't we go over this already? Uh, guess we did, huh? Just three more months for ask them all, aren't we? How should we be looking at this? The guy getting taken down in the footage is the rail Ihara-san. Sensei had already switched places with them before the scene happened. No one saw through his disguise. Makes sense. There'd be no way to swap places after getting caught like this. His sunglasses were removed too. Also, the person who tripped him was one of ours. So was the one who took the smartphone video. If nobody tried to stop him, he would have just gotten away. But the most important part of it was pinning Ehara-san as the culprit out in public. Right. If that didn't happen, the entire alibi goes up in smoke. More or less. So basically, this entire battery case was calculated from the start. Nothing but smoke and mirrors. This piece of the puzzle still needs an explanation. Is that... A... The police examined the trace evidence on Ahara's hands after he was caught. And from the analysis, the same fibers from Mamiya-san's undergarments were found on Ahara's hands. That's right. If the stand-in was the groper, Ahara-san wouldn't have touched Mamiya-san at all. But the evidence on Ahara-san's hands suggests otherwise. Rather strange, isn't it? I take it there was a trick to this, too? That simple. Before I got in the train, I met with the real Ehara-san at the underground platform. That's when I had him touch the undergarments. After that, all I had to do was go to the bathroom and put them on. That's where the fibers in the trace were from. Just as I suspected, she and Ahara fabricated the harassment evidence long before it happened. What the police found on Ehara-san's hands was exactly what we wanted them to find. And it would serve as hard proof he grabbed me. The cords really ate it up. It was hard not to laugh sometimes, to be honest. You're really starting to open up. That's the spirit. <laughs> Wait, one more. Might as well ask this as well, aren't we? How about this, then? And this is? Before the incident, Ahari used this card to go through the ticket gate at Ikebukuro, the time of which was recorded. Right, and it was on October 7th at 7.43 a.m. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. Happy to help, Yagami-san. At the earliest, Mikoshiba's time of death would have been 7.30 a.m. If Ahara killed Mikoshiba in the Jin show, he would have only had 13 minutes to get to Ikebukuro. And frankly, that's impossible. That's what's dumping you? Huh? Sensei borrowed the card from Ehara-san beforehand and passed through the gate. Afterward, he slipped it back to Ehara-san when they switched places. That way, Ehara-san ended up having the time-stamped card on him. Makes sense now. So even the entry time through the ticket gate was used as part of the alibi? It all seems so obvious now that I hear it. Nobody suspect that a groping was being used as an alibi for murder. Yeah. And on top of all that, no one knew Mikoshiba had been killed during the trial. They really pulled it off. Anything else? Yagami-san, you sure that's enough? Yeah, I think we've got plenty. Bottom line, groping was a fabrication. 
At the very least, we know that the prosecution's evidence can all be refuted. The courts were being intentionally misled. I'm considering filing an appeal. Are you saying you want a retrial? I am. We'll reveal Ahara and Kiwana's plot and overturn the verdict they issued. Hmm. That might be harder than it sounds. Why do you say that, Genda-sensei? Well, the previous trial resulted in Ahara being found guilty, right? As the client, if he doesn't want an appeal, there's no way you're getting one. Doesn't matter what any lawyer tries to do. If Ahara refuses to appeal, then that's that. Then we'll talk to him tomorrow. First, we need to see how he reacts to everything we've got on him. Sounds good. Then let's meet at the detention center tomorrow. Will do. So, we done for the night? Sure are. Great job, everyone. Go get some rest. Yo, Yagami. You sure it was cool to let that mommy and chick just go home? Yeah, why? I mean, she helped Kuana kill all those people. Aren't you gonna turn her in or something? I would, but there's nothing we can do. <sighs> nothing we can do? Frankly, we don't have any proof of the murder she was talking about. What, so this is all for nothing? Nothing directly pointing to Mamiya, anyway. Aside from Mikoshiba, no other bodies turned up. Which means all we can do is take her home, right? Sugira is making sure she gets back safe. <sighs> Fine, forget it. Why are you still here? Everyone else went home already. Come on, man, why the cold shoulder? Am I really that annoying? You wouldn't be the guy I'd call to hang out with. So if you're done, then go. Wow. Straight for the jugular, huh? But if it's help you need, I'll be there. I've had nothing but time lately. But only if you bow your head and ask nice. Then I'll consider it. <laughs> I know for a fact you'd help me out regardless. So why waste a good bow? Thanks for the drink. Dude, come on. That was your cue to bow and ask nice. Gonna go with Sally San. Gonna go with Sally San to interview Ahara some other time to call it a day. So, we, what, we're going back to the, uh. Yep, yeah, go back to the agency. Out the way, Yagami's coming through. Out the way, Yagami's coming through. Oh my god, you want some? Okay, let's give him some. Have I got any weapons I can use? They asked for it, man. I was just gonna go home. I was just on my way home and they attacked me. Holy, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Oh man, with we're the fight in the freaking bar. Chase me into the freaking bar, man. You really wanna do that? guys was it coming in here and see if there was any food available to buy oh, there's still more of a pecan out there I just want to go home man Yeah, I'm not going 
But time for Saori san and me to interview a harbor but to take a cab to the Tokyo Detention Center. Okay, hold on a second though, hold on a second though. I've got some points to redeem, man. Should I get that as well, should I? Yeah, let's get it. Alright then, uh, what was I going to do, man? Should I boost my attack, should I? Uh, level 3 will do it the, for the time being. Maybe I should get this one. What's this? Oh, let's try that one. Let's go back to the
Wait, we're good for now, man. Let's go, go, go. Sally Sands waiting. Out the way, Yagami's coming through. Oh, will you stop? Out of my damn way, man. the wrong way man wait hold on a second let me just check what have they got any food that I don't own oh they've got so they've got stuff that I don't have man right let's get them Those we haven't got these pork tonkatsu bento that sounds tasty. I want to eat some of this. Eat some of this stuff, man. I've got some. Got, oh, this one we don't have. Which one? There we go. Oh man, get all the buns. We'll get this stuff, shall we? Get it. I've got all of those. Oh, wait, what else do we have? How many do we have of this? We don't have any of this, do we? Let's buy them then. Right. Indeed, indeed, babe. Alright. Oh, here we are. Back this way. Wait, can we go down the sewers, man? No, you can't go down the sewers in this game. Like, the last game. Where you see that doctor and get some of those kits. Wait, where the hell am I going, man? Holy moly. I'll take a taxi, innit? What the hell am I doing? I thought I was going back to Gender Law Office. Right, let's go, 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 let's go, go, go. I thought he didn't want to see us anyway, so why is he choosing to see us now? So, you're recommending an appeal? I have that right? Did some new evidence come to light? You Imami have told us some things. Like how you faked your alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. You wanted the sexual battery conviction, right? Well... Your goal was to avenge your son and humiliate the law on a grand scale. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ahara-san, we have a much better grasp of the situation than you think. And what exactly have you grasped? Like Yagami-san just said, you're innocent. As far as the harassment goes. As your lawyer, I'll file for an appeal. And we'll make sure the world knows it. Thanks, but no. I'm scum of the earth. A pervert. The prosecution and the judge made that very clear in the verdict. On the day of the crime, October 7th, at around 6.30 a.m., you were in Ijincho, not Tokyo. <laughs> Baloney. I was relaxing at home. Except that you weren't. Oh? You wanted to give the man who pushed your son to suicide the beating of a lifetime. And you'd miss out on that opportunity if you were at home, which is why you were in Ijincho instead. Isn't that right? 
You and Kiwana's former students staked out Mikoshiba's house until he left. Then you dragged your prey into a car and brought him to an abandoned building in Ijinsho, which would later become a murder scene. Every bone on Mikoshiba's fingers was broken. Remembering how he pushed Toshiro-kun to his death, it's no wonder you'd go that far. You tortured Mikoshiba without a shred of remorse. You inflicted no small amount of pain and terror. There's no way you weren't there, and I'd put my money on that. And then... You need the whole play-by-play, -play, even though you already know it? Oh, not at all. I'm just fascinated by this outrageous little story. I'll use a piece of evidence to show what he did next after beating up Mikoshiba. Indeed, we've got the video, man. You want to see yourself do some killing? As for what you did next after beating Mikoshiba... Oh, it's quite a home video. Without leaving anything on Mikoshiba's body that could be traced back to you, you slid his throat. Estimated time of death was around 7.30 a.m. on October 7th. You tossed the bloody coat and made your way to Ikebukuro Station, where Yui Mamiya was waiting. Are you sure? I was at Ikebukuro by 7.30 a.m. Would have been impossible for me to kill Mikoshiba and Ijinsho. The person in the security camera footage in Ikebukuro was a double who imitated your likeness. The identity of whom belonged to Jin Kuwana, the handyman in Ijinsho. Or maybe you know him by a different name. Former high school teacher Yu Kitakata. So which name did he give you? I don't know who you're talking about. With Kawana in view of the security camera, you met up with Yui Mamiya at Ikebukuro first. That's where you touched the undergarments she had prepared. The police would later discover the trace evidence on your hands and pin the groping on you. Then you made your way to Shinjuku Station. After that, Mamiya and Kuwana acted out the groping as they arrived at Shinjuku Station. Kuwana jumped out of the train and Mamiya chased after him. And then, in the smallest of blind spots in a station absolutely packed with cameras, you were waiting for Kuwana, who looked just like you. With the two of you matching, you were able to swap places in that huge crowd without anyone noticing. Kawana handed you the transit card used to pass the ticket gate. Just one piece of hard evidence that places you in Ikebukuro at 7.43 a.m. And right after the swap, Mamiya started calling for help. After that, well, we've all seen how the news reported it. You were caught in a public place with plenty of witnesses. An active duty police officer arrested for sexual battery the public outcry was very clear. As a result, despite it being your first offense, you were actually tried and convicted. The consensus is that it was a fitting punishment for someone so heinous. Even as your lawyer, I felt the same. Have some confidence in yourself, Shirosaki sensei The prosecution, the judge, and a lawyer like you all laid out the evidence in court and found me guilty. I'm in no position to doubt you. And I've long accepted the ruling that Toshiro was never bullied. There's nothing I can do but abide by the rule of law. Right? That's all I can do, right? I know what you're trying to say. You carried out the justice that the courts wouldn't, right? Everything my son went through was passed off like it never even happened. School, the teachers, and yes, the court. They all dismissed the reason he died. That's when Kawana came in the picture, telling you Toshiro kun had been bullied. But was it Kawana's words that suddenly made you want to kill Mikoshiba? Because all of his fingers were broken while he was still alive. Was that really all just your pent up rage? What do you have to say, Taharasan? There shouldn't have been any evidence of Mikoshiba's bullying. Who told her? Who told Ahava the truth?
Must have been Kawana, wasn't it? Did Kawana really tell you? You found enough motive to murder Mikoshiba on hearsay? <sighs> no. That doesn't sound right at all. Oh, maybe it was Sawa Sensei who told him. Was Sawa Sensei the one who told you the truth? She was the only person Toshiro kun confided in. You had to have heard it from her, right? Nearly hit the nail on the head, as they say. Nearly? After my trial, she confessed she knew about the bullying. But only to her old teacher over the phone. She had no idea she was being recorded. What? Kuwana-san let me listen to that recording where I learned Sawa Sensei had been muzzled by both the homeroom teacher and the lawyer. That was the proof of Toshiro's bullying I'd wanted all throughout the trial. After hearing Sawa Sensei's words, I finally understood. They pushed my boy over the edge. Was there no other evidence of the bullying? Like a diary of Toshiro Kun's or something of the sort? Nothing. Toshiro never talked to me or my wife about the bullying. And that was probably all my fault. He was bullied in middle school, too. Kids would throw his pencil case around or hide his books. When I heard about it, I chewed him out. They walk all over you because you're weak. Grow spying, I told him. I take it that was the wrong approach. Yeah. <sighs> I can't imagine how much courage it took for him to... Come forward about his suffering. I'm sure he felt ashamed about it. And I should have listened when he pleaded for help. I should have told him I was proud of his bravery. But instead, they pushed him away. And in the end, Toshiro tried to make sure he never showed weakness to us again. No matter how much pain he was in. He went to a private school out in Yokohama because he hated living with me. But in the end, he still suffered. And that's why you didn't hesitate to unleash hell on Mikoshiba. If you say so. He still won't admit to murdering Mik Mikoshiba. Must be killing him not to. So the first time Kawana showed up, was when he let you listen to the phone call with Sawa Sensei, right? Yes. He approached me and asked me if I still wanted justice for my son. I was in uniform when he came to me, too. Very bold. But it paid off. I owe him a debt of gratitude. He reassured me he had already taken care of multiple individuals like Goshiba, and that he'd urged other families to avenge the children they lost to bully. He'd tell them that simply being branded a bully wasn't enough. He promised to deliver real justice. If justice can be served at one's own discretion, laws would cease to serve their function. If the law isn't fair to everyone, no one will obey it. The law is only able to help the powerless because it can't be swayed by money, force, or anything else. Then tell me, What's the solution when the law fails to punish someone who laughs in its face? To overlook those the law won't judge is to abandon those the law couldn't protect. To render justice with confidence, you require sufficient evidence. Some of the victims' families refused Kuana's offer of revenge, telling him it would be unforgivable. But even after rejecting his offer, not a one reported Kuang-san to the police. Do you understand what that implies? Whether you follow through with revenge or not, Kuang-san presents a solution that resonates with people. Being that the law is unfair and imperfect. Am I wrong about that? No, you're not. But we're fighting to make it as fair as we can. 
Laws have to change until they are perfect. They don't change fast enough. Toshiro's death was murder by another name. Yet, Hiromi Kushiba walked free. He even got to enroll in a teaching program as a student teacher. Someone like him? It's insane! I'd die of old age before the law was ever written to be fair enough. For Toshiro's sake, I can't turn a blind eye to a world where the Mikoshibas can live without consequence. Tell me, what alternative was there to getting blood on my hands? I didn't have any other choice! Yagami-san, did he just...? This is the first time you've admitted to killing Mikoshima. You really did your research. Unlike those useless cops. Wana-san's plan was impressive. Almost airtight. I didn't expect it to be unraveled so quickly. I just got lucky. There was some dirt on Yui Mamiya that Kuwana could have used against her. If we hadn't found it, there's no way we would have gotten her to talk. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm under no obligation to tell you. Ahara-san, you'll be sent to prison as a sex offender as it stands. Of course. Just as I planned. The charges will be confirmed, and I'll be convicted. As for the police and the prosecution, they wouldn't be able to admit they made a mistake. I could scream, I killed Mikoshiba at the top of my lungs. It wouldn't matter. Are you saying you intend to admit to the murder after you're released? <laughs> Everyone's seen the video of me killing Mikoshiba by now. It's obviously authentic, but the prosecution and the police are saying it's fake. They need it to be fake. Even if I do confess, They'll sweep it under the rug. <sighs> they wouldn't. No, that's not beneath them. But I take it how they react doesn't really matter to you. All you want is to humiliate the law, don't you? The same system that determined Toshiro-kun's incident didn't happen. It seems you're starting to understand, Yagami-san. Ahav has achieved most of what he wanted to do. But, uh, but I can't overlook what he's already done. The prosecution wanted to charge me for Mikoshiba's murder. Then they'd have to retract the battery verdict. And that would mean admitting to a massive blunder by the court. At the hands of a criminal. It would be chaos. Despite knowing who murdered Mikoshiba, no one would know what to make of the case. Wouldn't that just be wonderful? I hear you. And I even get why you'd feel pretty proud of accomplishing that. Do you? But in this case, the guys pretty much grabbed the tiger by the tail. What tiger's tail? Someone's issuing orders to the thugs in Kamurocho from behind the scenes. He's the tiger in this case. And they've been closing in on your partner, Kawana. And Sawa-sensei got in their path. I'm sure you get the newspaper in here, right? You know, don't you? Sawa-sensei was killed after the thugs broke into her home. All because she got involved with Kawana. Where she was killed. This is the first I'm hearing of the reason why. And by thugs, you mean RK? Yeah, but we don't know why they're going after Kawana. Any ideas? No way I'd know. You think it could be because she got mixed up in your deadly little game? Excuse me. That's what getting away with murder really looks like. The more you perpetuate the lie, the greater the rift you create. And then, the unthinkable happens. Kawana killed others besides Mikoshiba. You said so yourself. That's what brought the angry tiger into play. And if Sawa-sensei ended up paying for that instead, then how can you begin to believe your vengeance is fair? Because she gave false testimony. She lied in court to say Toshiro was never bullied. She couldn't name Mikoshiba, who was a minor at the time, without evidence. What's more, she was haunted by her testimony, always second-guessing if she did the right thing. But now she's been killed. Somehow that's acceptable to you? 
I'm gonna clear up what happened to Sawa Sensei, just like you did for Toshiroku. How? By going public with everything you and Kawana did. The first step is to appeal the sexual battery and undo this whole lie. You never groped you, Imamiya. That's one crime you're innocent of, Ehara-san. The court's verdict was incorrect. So please, give us the chance to appeal. We can prove your innocence. What on earth would I get out of that? You get to humiliate the court again. Besides, what are you gonna do for the next half a year in a cell? Fine. Do what you want. But just know this. Yes? I have no intention of admitting to killing Mikoshiba in court. Is your appeal still worth a damn? We won't know till we try. Let's go, Sari-san. We have client approval to proceed with the appeal. We better act fast. Yes, agreed. Yagami-san. Sawa-sensei's death isn't on me. Even if I have grabbed the tiger by the tail, doesn't mean I killed her. By that logic, you may as well admit that Migoshiba didn't kill Toshiroku. You can't have it both ways. Listen to me. Everything about you, about Kawana, about why Sawa-sensei had to die, we're gonna expose all of it. That's the only thing left we can do for her. I'm going to fill Genda Sensei in on what happened. Why don't you head over to the office? Sure thing. Oh boy. Let's get on in then, shall we? So then, Ihara admitted to killing Mikashiba, did he? Off the record, yeah. He also admitted Kawana approached him to offer revenge. That sounds like you were productive. It's enough for us to move forward with the appeal, I'd say. How does that sound, Genda-sensei? Uh, Genda-sensei? The sexual battery and Mikoshiba's murder are the very same case. To clear Ahara of harassment, you'll need to prove he murdered Mikoshiba. But you don't have evidence he did, do you? Ahara-san was captured on video committing the murder. And the prosecution claims it's a fake of unknown origins. The police are saying the same. They're only saying that to cover their asses. In reality, the sexual battery evidence against Ahara-san is what was really fake. At the very least, we can claim Yui Mamiya and the others aided in fabricating that, alibi or not. You really think the courts will grant you an appeal for just that? Are you saying that's not possible? I wouldn't go that far. But Ehara won't admit to murdering Mikoshiba in court. Kind of significant, don't you think? So what chance do you have even if you do appeal? Without any decisive new evidence, you'll just end up splitting hairs over the original verdict. And what good'll it do other than damage your own reputation, Sarukun? So Genda Sensei is worried about Sari San's career. I'm sure that's the case, although. To be honest with you, I feel like I've been deeply underestimated. What? Sorry, son. Are you actually mad? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. You have every right to be. Listen, Sensei. Ehara and Kawana devised this plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hands. True. So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? I understand where you're coming from, and you're right to think it, but... And another thing. While acting as Ahara's defense in the first trial, I never truly believed the claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. Sorry, son. Ahara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. I'm gonna show him exactly what I can do. Hmm, what about you, Yagami? I wanna hear your thoughts. He's not saying it. 
but he disagrees with Sally san How should I move this forward? We should listen to Sally san Oh my god. Who should we Who shall we choose, man? Who shall we choose? Go with the old I man. Know what you're really saying, Genda Sensei. I'm just worried about Sarisan's future, right? That's right. She expects to defend a harassment case by proving a murder. What if she's biting off more than she can chew? Attacking the credibility of the police and prosecution already puts her at a disadvantage. And if she comes out of this with nothing, that's gonna follow her for all her life. That's a valid concern. Excuse me, can I ask you two why this is even a topic? Do neither of you have any sense of urgency? Hey, why me? Am I wrong? Then tell me what you're thinking here, Yagami-san. Yeah, let's hear it already. Why the hell? Why am I... Why am I the, the one getting grilled here? Well, I guess I'll just be straightforward then. All right then. We should listen to Sarisan. I understand why Ahara and Kawana did what they did, but I can't condone it. I see. So you feel it too, huh? Yes. Although my motivation may not be as righteous as Sarisan's. Hmm, what do you mean? Mikoshiba's murder, the fake groping alibi, the one behind it all was Kawana, and he's in hiding. We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. And the perfect place to do it is during Ahara's appeal hearing. So it's not Ahara you're after, but Kuwana. If we pursue Ahara's case, Kuwana-san's actions will naturally come to light. And if we draw out Kuwana, then RK and the ones backing them will make their move. Soma from RK said Sawa Sensei knew too much. Which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried, even if it means murder. And I need to figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. Kenda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and quiet. Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. That should be my line, Saurikun. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Get out there and do what needs to be done. And heaven help anyone in your way. Yeah, right. Yep. you heard him. We're all on the same page. All on the same page, man. Sukumo's calling. Hope everything is okay. Hello? Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Yeah, why? What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing in Ijincho. It's very bizarre. Are they now? Yeah, I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? If I was Soma, I'd have left Ijincho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa Sensei's murder, too. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Ijincho with Sugiura. We got a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon then. Right, and so I guess we're. Yeah, let's go. Head to Yokohama 99. <laughs> Drop out the window like I usually do. Taxi, taxi. Where's my taxi? Wait. Wait, let's get Batman to Asian Joe. Uh, there we go. 
go. Thugs to fight, man. Get on in. Well, now that's something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuanasan, or rather Kitakata Sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like, why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? You think that's weird too, right, Yagami-san? Yeah. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa sensei got killed. Why is RK after Kuwana? How much do they know about him? Before they came to Ijinsho, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kuwana. So what are they trying to accomplish? We can guess all we want, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijinsho as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. Though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. That's true. Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm going to head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? I should head out I should head outside for now, when <laughs> What message is this then? How do I Sawa, how's the investigation coming along, Yagami san? If you ever stuck by using this if you if you ever stuck, try using school diary to review the situation. Our nemesis, the professor, must be stopped. He sneaks his way into the hearts of innocent high schoolers, turning him them into delinquents one by one. Rem remember, a truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. Yes I remember. Wait, what we're we gonna do in the city then, man? Wait, let's get out. Look around town. Look around town for what? Hello? It's Shirosaki. Do you have a minute, Yagami san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Ihara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part felt off? The part about Kuwana approaching other bullying victims besides Ihara-san to offer revenge. Ihara-san also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? Well, wasn't the first bully Kuwana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his beliefs, Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. 
that event was the catalyst for Kiwana's actions, so wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge too? Mitsuru Kusumoto's parents? You're talking about his mother, Reiko Kusumoto, right? Mitsuru, Mitsuru Kusumoto's mother, Reiko Kusumoto. She used to be just another suit in the Ministry of Health, but now she's Vice Minister. Yes, who is currently Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawhi, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Which Ooh. would explain how RK's actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? <laughs> you don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? You know very well the answer to that. Yeah. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Yeah, this is genius, Sarisan. This could lead us right to who's controlling RK. Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'll call you if I find anything out. White man, time to get back to Sukumo. Might be worth looking into Reiko Kusumoto more closely. Indeed, indeed. Let's go, go, go. Let's go, go, go. Let's go, 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 man. Yagami-san, back already? <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? Okay, take a look at this, Yagamishi. Reiko Kusumoto became vice minister just recently. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. The ministry revolution, bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. <laughs> Go her. Vice minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to RK. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but RK already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusumoto's still in a coma, right? Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. Huh. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa-sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news, too. The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment, Kanagawa PD is conducting a search for the suspect, self-proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. Nearby Why are they looking for Kuwana? Shouldn't they be after Soma? Sawa-san's former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawa-san. Why are the police going after Kiwana and not Soma? What the hell? Hmm. If Kiwana-san was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Yeah, I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage too. The police only seem to want Kawana, but why? Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. Ask who? The 
Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Been a while, hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kuwana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news. Kuwana was caught on camera near the crime scene, plus he knew the victim. And if that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? But I saw Soma holding an ice pick up to Sawa-sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kawana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. You know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Where are you right now? Uh-huh. I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? Abe-san? On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Yagamishi, I managed to focus in on the background noise from your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe-san's location. What? Seriously? He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. But... is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency. Quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Well, Nabe-san should be on the main street in Chinatown. I need to catch him and find out what's going on. Indeed. Let's go, go, go. Let's go, go, go. Take a taxi, man. Take a taxi. Here we go. Here we go, go, go. Right. Somewhere in here. The coin is mine. Where could he be? Where could he be? Son, and you were Sakurai. Oh right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal. The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after R.K.? Or are you, and you're just keeping me in the dark? <sighs> this isn't the place to talk about that. What the? Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You want to say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the camp. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. Yeah. Good call. Then let's. Damn. What's he up to? Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. <sighs> well, we're about to have a shitty conversation. Might as well do it with a pleasant view. Do the cops really believe Kawana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? You wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. You have a warrant. To arrest Kawana? His real name's Yu Kitikata. He's been using a fake. He services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? 
He should have been spotted on the nearby cameras, too. Like when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. <laughs> How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> From the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher-ups have been busy playing politics. I had a handle on things when we were just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to really hard up. But after that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa Sensei's case has me scratching my head too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover up? It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Oh, that's you fucked up, isn't it? Footage. Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa-sensei's case, they're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kawana has to die in an accident. What? As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kuwana gone, and they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Kuwana is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit! <laughs> You'll shut the lid on the trash, ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice? And then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? Oh my god, we're gonna fight a cop. Holy moly. You never did answer the question, now, my son. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, detective? Smartass! <laughs> Leave it alone, Yagami. It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. Oh God. <sighs> you little piece of shit! I've had enough! Oh, we're gonna fight another cop, man. Hope he's not as tough as Kawaiwa. God damn it. God damn it, he packs a punch, doesn't he? Needs to eat some food, man. Hell, man. Why has he got insta kill move? Oh, 
Oh, what the hell is he? Oh, god damn it. Oh, but kind of, now what? What's with these insta kill moves, man, all of a sudden? It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Yes. God damn it. They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kuwana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> uh, I hear you. You're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force who would want Kawana dead. The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. They didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuwana the handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? We were the first to the scene, which means the big wigs pulled the suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? 
the public security branch of the, of the police is practically Japan's spy ring. It keeps an eye on foreign agents, gangs and political groups. They don't hunt criminals so much as gather intel and analyze it into main analyze it to maintain the peace. Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? Seems they were interested in our case criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, the ones will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, then they have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma. He doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been. Maybe it's a cover-up. They had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawa Sensei's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kuwana silenced, it'll all balance out. So that's what you meant by Kuwana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your shit than keep a lid on it. I can't imagine it's easy for public security to pin the blame on Kuwana for Sawa Sensei's murder. Then again, dead men don't talk if they get rid of Kiwana, that'd be enough to muddy to muddy the waters. So who's running the show in public security? Do they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. I'm afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. Yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? Eugene show? Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Kawana has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in Jincho. Seriously? He's back here? Didn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutokucho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawana's there? You're not going to say you got that from me, right? I don't have much time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. They mean business. Wait then, man. Not a bad guy after all. I thought he was another corrupt cop like Kuroira. Right, so where are we going now? Where are we go now? Alright, we're going back here. Alright. Oh, what's... Did you sell anything? Yes, I must say. Now, we, don't need that. we need some health drinks, is what we need, man. About. Cafe. Shall we go see what they got? Oh, what's that? Well, that's a nice boat, isn't it? Aha, uh -huh. let's buy some of these, shall we?
ありがとうございました。Indeed, indeed, man. Alright, so. General goods card. You think they've got like a、uh, post,、uh, health drinks and stuff? Let's go over there quick. Oh man, I got nothing. Nothing I want. Over here. I get some of these. I got all I must have. You just top up on my health drinks, man. Let's take a taxi. Let's take a taxi. Taxi. All right. So.、Uh... Right, let's go to this one. Yagamishi, it's me. I have an update for you. It seems Kawana has been spotted in Ichincho. Yeah, in Komijo, right? I'm headed there now. Ah, fastidious as ever. But the police have already started blocking off Komijo. Already? They're probably going to surround the area and gradually close in on Kawana-san. What's your plan, Yagamishi? Public security is probably behind that. And according to Nabe-san, once they capture Kawana. He'll end up in an accident. An accident? Long story short, I need to find Kawana before the cops do. Can you navigate me to him? I most certainly can. For now, just keep heading toward Komijo. In the meantime, I'll be monitoring the surrounding area. Oh, and I'll dispatch Sugiurashi. Appreciate that, Tsukumo. All right, guys, that will do it for this part. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and comment. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and help me rise.